My son, you have been taught to act the dissembler amongst the Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic and to be a spy even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man, among the reformers to be a reformer, among the Huguenots to be a Huguenot, among the Calvinists to be a Calvinist, among the Protestants generally to be a Protestant, and obtaining their confidence to seek even to speak from their pulpits and to denounce with all vehemence in your nature our holy religion and the Pope, and even to descend so low as to become a Jew amongst the Jews, that you might be enabled to gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. You have been taught to insidiously plant the seeds of jealousy and hatred between states that were at peace, and incite them to deeds of blood involving them in war with each other, and to create revolutions and civil wars in communities, provinces and countries that were independent and prosperous, cultivating the arts and the sciences, and enjoying the blessings of peace. To take side with the combatants, and to act secretly in concert with your brother Jesuit, who might be engaged on the other side, but openly opposed to that which you might be connected, only that the church might be the gainer in the end, in the conditions fixed in the treaties for peace, and that in the end justifies the means. You have been taught your duties as a spy to gather all statistics, facts and information in your power from every source, to ingratiate yourself into the confidence of the family circle of Protestants and heretics of every class and character, as well as that of the merchant, the banker, the lawyer, amongst the schools and universities, in Parliament and legislatures, and in the judiciaries and councils of state, and to be all things to all men for the Pope's sake, whose servants we are unto death. You have received all your instructions heretofore as a novice, a neophyte, and have served as a coadjutor, confessor, and priest, but you have not yet been invested with all that is necessary to command in the army of Loyola in the service of the Pope. You must serve the proper time as the instrument and executioner as directed by your superiors, for none can command here who has not consecrated his labours with the blood of the heretic, for without the shedding of blood no man can be saved. Therefore, to fit yourself for your work and make your own salvation sure, you will, in addition to your former oath of obedience to your order and allegiance to the Pope, repeat after me. I promise that, and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war, secretly or openly, against all Protestants and liberals as I am directed to do, to extirpate and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither age, sex, or condition, and that I will hang, burn, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls, in order to annihilate for ever their execrable race. That when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poisoned cup, the strangulating cord, the steel of the poniard, or the leaden bullet, regardless of the honour, rank, dignity, or authority of the person or persons, whatever may be their condition in life, either public or private, as I at any time may be directed to do so by any agent of the Pope or superior of the Brotherhood of the Holy Faith, the Society of Jesus. By reading these words we gain a full appreciation of their shocking tactics, which can be summed up like this. Their intention was to become part of the faith, system, culture or group that they intended to destroy. Then from within they would sow seeds of hate and division. Their method was to present themselves as one thing on the surface, but to be secretly working away with each other for a very different purpose behind the scenes. They would sometimes pretend to be enemies on opposing sides in public, but behind the scenes they were actually cohorts, working together towards the same goal.